A big hello and a warm welcome to all of you amazing and beautiful people out there. Welcome to my channel. In this channeling session, I would be talking about the Divine Feminine Collective that is really upset right now. And some of these Divine Feminines are not, are not upset for a wrong reason. So what happens during the Ascension journey when the Divine Feminine falls into self-love and she starts caring for herself more than she used to, and obviously this happens after the Divine Masculine has done her wrong. And there is a process to this. It does not happen. So this energy that I'm talking about, this energy has not happened in one day or two days or two weeks or three weeks or six months or seven months. This energy has, has reached, this energy has happened or is happening in many cases because the feminine has been going through really bad feelings or extreme amount of neglect you can say lack of understanding and she's been doing a lot she's been giving a lot so how does energy work is that when you give energy you also take energy it's a process of giving and receiving all right so it cannot work out if a person is simply giving 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 she's a giver all the time and the person in front, she feels, is a taker, constantly taking things from her, maybe sexuality, maybe uh, her time, maybe her efforts. And maybe this person is giving a lot of commitments, lots of false hopes, or even if it's not false, he's just giving commitments, but he's not fulfilling those commitments. He just keeps coming up with some or the other excuses all the time that, oh, I cannot do this because of this. I cannot do this because of this. I cannot do this because of this. So he is constantly expecting the divine feminine to understand that, you know, I am not able to fulfill my commitment towards you that I made to you because I am suffering or I am going through a problem and you please understand. And in many cases and in many occasions, she did understand, you know, she did understand his point of view, his situation or his problem. But after a point, she felt like, no, I cannot do this anymore. Or she felt very hurt or she felt very neglected. This is one of the cases where we are talking about commitment. Another case is when a person is sexually very active with someone and the man is constantly expecting the woman to satisfy him in some way or the other. You know, there are various ways to uh, give sexual pleasures to people, but he is constantly expecting her to do it. But this is a man-woman relationship. If a woman is giving you her body, she's giving you love out of her soul, and the man does not even take care of her, or just treats her like this object where, you know, he comes to her or he's very loving before this type of copulation or before this type of coitus, whatever name you want to give it, intercourse. Before doing that, he is extremely nice to her. He would shower her with compliments. And it seems to her that all of that compliments or all of the goodness he shows, it's only for that because once he gets it, he will ignore her and he will forget about her. So this gives her a very deep scar and she feels every time, like few times she won't say anything. Maybe it goes on for a few months and she constantly feels that, you know, because at that point in time, the divine feminine's uh, self-worth is very low. She lacks in self-worth and she lacks in self-love also. So she constantly feels, even if she's feeling bad about something, she doesn't realize that this is the reason. But the more inner work she does, the more she practice, practices self-love, she starts reading, she starts going out with other people because obviously the masculine is not giving her any attention. Especially in festivals, especially when she wants to do something like meeting her friends or going out with her, even if it's normal dating or going to the family for something, he always makes up some excuses that I don't want to do this, I don't like to do this, this is not my cup of tea, please understand, no, please I can't do this. But this goes on for many times and there are certain occasions where she cannot tolerate it. She feels like, what the hell? What am I for? What am I for? Just for his fun and pleasure. But he cannot be 
at my birthday party he cannot be with my friends he cannot even come to you know spend some time with my family but when he wants to have fun he can make long calls he can make phone calls and messages or he can come all the way to meet me only when he knows that this is going to be the plan so she starts growing out of it and she starts meeting other people you know because what happens is that when you are giving so much to one person and not getting anything you become you become too drained you know so you need to replenish your energies and any which way he is not even if you bang your head against a wall he is not going to do it for you so she realizes that you know enough is enough i cannot deal with it i'm going to do my things any anything else that's going to make me happy so she starts going out with other people she starts meeting other friends or even makes new friends she gets into some hobbies and most importantly some of the divine feminines they get dedicated to source once you get dedicated to source your source of energy it uh, you become a very powerful being you are a type of person who does not need anyone she can even go travel on her own she can become a backpacker or she can maybe start dating some other really amazing person maybe it is for a temporary phase or whatever it is but she is not right now thinking about this type of a man who's only sexually objectifying her or using her in the name of an intense relationship in the name of a commitment like they're engaged or they're about to get married or they're in a serious relationship publicly committed you know where the guy and the girl have put up some kind of relationship status online or they've put some pictures online so she is uh, you know assuming because this is like our social culture these days that if you if you are in love with someone then you share about them you share pictures with them you share share med, uh, videos with them and in all those pictures and videos you are a very happy couple you project that energy that you are very happy maybe it's because the guy is good looking or maybe you know according to the divine feminine because everybody has different taste in people or maybe the guy is uh, you know affluential or he's influential or maybe he's just got some kind of status or maybe it's just the way he projects himself you know as a person in public image and social image that he is a good catch or something like that you know so when he projects himself to be like that she feels very happy that okay publicly he is committing to me or publicly now there could be 100 other reasons maybe the divine feminine doesn't realize it but she could be also very beautiful she could be very attractive and he probably knows that maybe he has known her for quite a while and he knows that she is a hot catch too so he is he is with her because even she is giving him something in terms of the materialistic world but she feels that as a soul connect or as a emotional connect he is just not there for her so why you know in this relationship she feels that body is more important body needs are more important for this person and what she is going through is not important now obviously please understand that the divine masculine this type of a divine masculine he has not been raised properly he has not been raised with right values and humanitarian values especially he has been raised in a very toxic environment where everything is about your social image and everything is about you know your bodily addictions and needs so even if he feels love for her in some degree or the other but he does not know how to express it but this this one point that he does not know how to express it or he appears to be a victim rather because you know most divine feminines they study a lot they research a lot about people it's just their curious mind you know most divine feminines are like that they are very curious by nature so they have this sympathy for the divine masculine or whosoever is involved in this case but after a point say after one year or after a couple of even more you know and there is a phase of running away also so every time she wants something in return some kind of emotional affection some kind of unconditional appearance you know even if it's for half an hour 15 minutes he is never there and she feels very insulted and hum, you know humiliated because there's a lot of pressure on her to keep him happy such people don't get happy easily people who have who are very bodily oriented who are you know extremely materialistic they are constantly irritated they are constantly upset about something or the other they keep cribbing a lot or they keep acting like victims 
so this is the time when she gets into her place of power and she feels that even if this person is supposed to be my partner in life or even if he's you know supposedly my soulmate or whatever twin flame but at this point in time he is not the right person like to become his better version or to become his higher version he needs to do a lot of work not me and this type of understanding or this type of knowledge does not come to her in one day or two day as i said it has been a lot of pain a lot of suffering a lot of moments of humiliation insults being neglected being misunderstood and being pressured a lot of pressure has been put on her and she also feels that you know when he wants to go out with his friends and she compares it when he is going out with the friends or with his uh, family members or was for some other work or for some other thing that he wants to do same things you know same things that he wants to do then he is a different person altogether so she feels really cheated on by him and she feels pathetic and after that she falls into self love and this is a gradual thing it happens naturally to her she goes like no i am not giving him any importance now the guidance also says that in future he would be sorry or he would be apologetic but once again please understand that she could also be a really good source of supply for him she could be a, a very loving person a very understanding person she could be as i said beautiful also she could be attractive also so when she goes away from him and when she comes into her point of power there is a whole world that opens up in front of her a world full of opportunities a world full of people who like her and appreciate her and people who give her genuine time without asking for any favors in return or without you know doing all the materialistic things that she was doing for him including you know the sexual activities so now she is hanging out with people who just want to hang out with her they want to talk to her they want to know what's in her heart they want to know what's in her mind what does she like what does she not like or they want to listen to her she is maybe a spiritual person so she has a lot to share or she has done some kind of self development so she by experience she knows that what self love means you know by experience she realizes it and she also realizes that there is something called unconditional love and there is something called conditional love and i don't want to be a part or i don't want to be a party to conditional love where i am being liked because of certain materialistic points bonus points that come with me so all of these things that she has gone through or she is going through has make her has made her a very strong person a stronger person not totally i won't say in this as per this energy there would be a, other work to be done there would be lot of work that would be done but le but at least in this phase this phase has happened after she lost a lot of weight after she after she lost a lot of appetite she fell sick she was unhealthy for a long time she was in a very dark zone very painful zone i must say and after that you know she just rose up like the phoenix bird you know that rises from its own ashes she just rose up and she was like no more bullshit no more horrible behavior and she also becomes a bit of badass over here and as for the energy again as i said the the same feminine would become even more badass but at this point in time whatever is required because she has to learn more lessons with other people and she has to learn lessons of self love she has to learn who all actually love her unconditionally because when you attract such a man or when you attract such a person in your life then definitely there are other people also who have raised her or there are other people with whom she has been with for many years and they could also be treating her very badly only for some materialistic gains or for worldly gains for worldly relationships maintenance of worldly relationships they don't really care for her so all of those things would be revealed to her in the future but at this point in time this person that she moved on from this divine masculine who is not a divine masculine at this time is just a masculine with there is a lot of toxicity he is actually realizing a lot because he is seeing her with really people who were beyond his imagination you know imagine you are dating a girl for a long time and you treat her like a piece of crap you know or you piece of 
लाइक यू डोंट ट्रीट अ वेल दो यू नो दैट शी इज प्रिटी शी इज नाइस एंड शी इज यू नो लवेबल एंड अवेलेबल बट यू गिव अर बेसिकली ब्रेड क्रम्स यू थ्रो ब्रेड क्रम्स एट होम वन फाइन डे दिस गर्ल डिसाइड्स टू रन अवे एंड शी डजेंट वॉन्ट टू कम बैक यू नो और शी वॉन्ट्स टू टेक अ ब्रेक फ्रॉम ऑल दिस एंड शी स्टार्ट्स डेटिंग अ सेलेब्रिटी मे बी सम वेरी फेमस मॉडल और सम फेमस एक्टर फॉल्स फॉर हर ही सीज हर इन अ पार्टी एंड ही गोज लाइक ओ आई वॉन्ट बी विद दिस गर्ल एंड दिस पर्सन हु वॉज थ्रोइंग ब्रेड क्रम्स एट हर सडनली फील्स लाइक ओ माई गॉड वट इज दिस वॉट हाउ डज दिट हाउ डज दिस हैपन टू एनी वन like the girl who i wasn't even giving time to now she is going out on parties and she is making public appearances with a famous person or you know some very hot property or if not that maybe you know it's a indian setup and the man the masculine who treated her badly thought that you know she is always going to come back crawling to me who is going to be with her who is going to date her after all and suddenly finds out that you know a very good looking man from the west maybe a foreigner someone who's white skinned or someone like for him whatever is big someone who's uh, very spiritual maybe she is hanging out with the person like that and he gives him that huge inferiority complex and a big punch on his ego so he has a lot of ego and he feels that you know this this is just not done this is just not done but he is so angry and he is not getting access to her because maybe because she is not talking to him or she doesn't care about him anymore after being treated like a piece of trash she is like maybe she doesn't reply to his messages anymore or she just tells him that you treated me so bad like a you know i i was i felt like i'm not even a human being i felt like i was a animal in a cage in a zoo or in a circus you treated me like that i had no freedom i had no love i had no affection but there were all these people looking at me from the outside of the cage and taking my pictures and being like wow look at this stupid animal all here for my entertainment you made me go through that now i don't want to talk to you so just please get get the hell away from me and get lost so now he is sitting in a dark zone and he is feeling all those times and all those things when he was having fun there there are also there is also energy of cheating that he was probably in some discotheque with some other girl having a one night stand or maybe having some kind of a fling and much later this girl finds out and she is very heartbroken because during those days he was he was probably making some excuses that i am not well or i am with my mother or i am with my father or i am doing my work i'm sorry i don't have time for you but actually he was dating someone else or he was cheating on her so even that vibe is present in this channeling even if it's not completely that so on that note i would be closing this channeling and i would say that more power to this divine feminine whosoever she is because only when the divine feminines fall into self love it is the divine masculine they're forced to do inner work and they're forced to become better and i hope and pray that all the divine feminines are strong enough to be completely independent not need these type of people and if these people work on themselves then good for them also right so i will close this channeling here one love and peace out